Hey guys, how you doing? Dun, this, dun, dun. this is your YouTuber, Stephen Wolf, and today's vlog, we're here at China Fun, and <laughs> everyone see if anyone notice. And we're gonna talk about all things wrestling. Oh, right? elite wrestling. All things wrestling, and we're gonna try and answer y'all's questions if y'all come in. Now, the first thing on our topic is AEW. All elite wrestling. Now, David, I'm concerned. Do you think? AEW and WWE are compete with each other. Probably. And we found out the first female signing to AEW is Adam Cole's bur girlfriend, Britt Baker. Britt Baker? I never heard of this Britt Baker character. And who is a Britt Baker? Hmm. We're here at China Funded, uh, too, having La Main. So, I hear some people being like, it's low main. Hmm. That's pretty damn good. Now, if I can find any more shrimps in mine. Now, with AEW starting up, we so far we know it's the Young Bucks, Cody Rhodes. Kenny Omega might sign it once his contract with New Japan expires February 1st. Yeah. I mean... What can you do? You got someone who's that damn good? What can you do? Now, Kenny Omega. When I first saw Omega, I didn't know what to think of him. Omega, to me, was like one of those guys who I didn't know at the time until I saw his work. And by the time I saw his work, it was unbelievable. I mean, New Japan didn't give him the nickname the best belt machine for nothing. Scene. What do you mean best belt machine? Because of the way he, because of the time, the way he wrestles. Now, Kenny Omega. What was his best match ever? I would have to say Dominion. 2000. Last year's Dominion. The two out of three falls match against Okada. And that match, I didn't see it, but how was it? How was Dominion last year? It was pretty good. I think Meltzer actually broke his rating last year. He gave the first Okada Omega match beginning of the year last year. I mean, not not, begin, not last year. Two years ago, he gave the first Kenny Omega and Okada match five stars, and then he mm. broke his disc in, this, in that match. He gave, he gave that match, the two out of three falls, no time limit match, six stars. Well, it must have been that great for him to give him that many stars. Now, Omega to me now, as I see him, he's one of those young guys. How old is the guy? Like in his er late, the early, look, early 30s, late 30s. He's still got a lot of left in his career. Now, I think this is just me. I think he's going to go to probably like AEW to scout it out and WWE to scout it out. Well, his WWE contract was worth three point five. He's trying to have three point five million dollar contract with WWE, anyways. But but he didn't include creative control. That's what I'm afraid of. I mean, if you have a guy like Kenny Omega, and you like suspend him from his move set, don't do it. It's not worth it. No, there's some. There was only some of his moves that would have been banned, like the one winged angel. That's a health hazard. Now, tell everyone. Not everyone knows how about the health hazard. What is the health hazard for the one wing angel? You can hurt your you can hurt your opponent's neck. Now, I know one of his moves that is one of his signatures. He pull he pulls his opponent up and does a pile driver. Well, that's gonna change. But pile driver is mostly in wrestling a band right now. But. If you turn it all I can't see the ban WWE if he ever goes there banning is the V trigger because all that is is a running knee on the ropes. I mean, WWE did some crazy stuff with new talent. I mean, what can I say about Kenny Omega? One of the best in the world? Yeah, probably. He hasn't faced AJ Styles yet. He hasn't faced. Um, well, there's rumors about AJ Styles quitting WWE and going to AEW to finish his career out because Styles does want to retire by the time he's 42. 
and he won't stay with WWE unless they give him a lighter work schedule. Now, that's another topic we're going to talk about right now. AJ Styles, TNA, New Japan. When I first saw New Japan, I thought it was just for like just Japanese wrestlers, not English types. No, I, almost every English. Well, free thing is, uh, Kenny Omega is not Japanese. He's a uh, Canadian. Now, Canadian. I did not think Kenny Omega would be a Canadian. He doesn't even look Canadian. Well, if he loves maple bacon and maple syrup, then. I would love to hang with the guy. But when it comes to New Japan and WWE, I think they have like a partnership together or... No, the New Japan and Ring of Honor have got a partnership together. Which is on... Now, before we get to Ring of Honor, I want to ask, what could possibly happen? Can you, they're talking about can they go into EW and, or Ring of Honor. Kenny Omega going to Ring of Honor. I mean, the Bucks are doing New Japan and Ring of Honor for a long while now. Well, the Bucks, I think, are done with Ring of Honor. But I see that, well, maybe, just maybe, if the Bucks invaded the Royal Rumble... That's in like probably two weeks now. Become mysterious opponents, and then one of them gets eliminated, and the other gets like not eliminated. Super kicks the last person out, and they unmask, and it was one of the young bucks, and they're going to WrestleMania. I see that angle right there. Being perfect. Well, they do will go to WWE. They're, they were talking about Bullet Club Invasion. Omega and the Bucks. And they in WWE. I would like to see him start in t like maybe NXT invade, like how Adam Cole did. Feel Kenny Omega had would have had him going straight to the main roster. I mean Possibly raw. No, no, no. I don't. I don't know about raw. I mean, SmackDown could probably use them. SmackDown could probably use them because you don't got a guy like Omega. Or make him a free agent, like like when when Austin Aries did. He was like a champion. Having all the championship titles from all brands. Well, that yeah, that that was in Impact Wrestling. Why not build him up and do that to show him that he's the best, and why he's like the best wrestler out there. I mean, I'm not being blunt here. I'm just saying. I mean, take something out of TNA's book and just like do that. Well, and we got another WWE thing. Lars Sullivan might have lost his um, push because he got an anxiety attack before his dark match last week. That's a serious thing. I mean, I don't know what an anxiety attack is, but what is that, actually? Will you get nervous before your match? <laughs> I should have put TNA on this, on this list. Anyway. So... Now, Lars Sullivan is one of those guys who came close for his first title, but came up short. Well, they were going to push Lars to a match with Cena at Mania and him winning the U.S. title from Rusev, but now that push might be done because of that anxiety attack. But they also said they were going to give him a U.S. title on his first try, like on how Paige won the Divas Championship. Now, that's not special treatment. I don't know what is.
But WWE these days have been doing some crazy stuff lighting. Like it's a fair storyline with like it's a fair storyline with Mandy Rose and Jimmy Uso trying to set up a match between Naomi and Mandy Rose. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Now you talk about that. I want to talk about that. For the past few weeks, Mandy Rose has been teasing and everything. So on why she is golden and glow is old news. This match has been delayed so many times, it's not even funny. <laughs> and Trinity is not happy that the match has been delayed so many times. I mean, if a man tried to seduce my wife like that, I'd be furious too. But now, why would you tease it so far? that one segment saying I need help to my hotel room. Sally my gold actually the segment was Sally my gold ring gear in your hotel room. What the hell am I saying? That would be better too. And they were like what the fuck and then boom out of nowhere. So now they're really fueling this up. And they, are, they already have a ma- freaking after the match. The bar accepted Jamie Bands and Miz's challenge for a match for the SmackDown tag title at the Rumble. Which I have a feeling they're going to mess up on. Now, the bar just probably got those titles. The bar has had them since November. Yeah, it's about time for a change. I just don't know, guys. But if they do win at the Rumble, and I don't have the guys they're facing, I don't know what's going to happen if they win. Will they get instant rematch clause? Will they retain the titles? I don't know. I have a feeling this is all leading up to a match with a Mania. With me, with Shane McMahon playing the heel and Miz playing the face. I mean, Miz was a pretty decent face six years ago. 2013 was the last time Miz was face, and he was a pretty decent one six years ago. Fair point, yes. He has some good tag partners too, like Mr. Morrison. And Big Show. Uh, let me see, who else? He's only had two tag team partners. I think it was Big Show and Morrison. Now, speaking of Morrison, let's talk about his wife and him being champions. Now, as much as I like them, was it too soon for Miss Valkyrie, Miss Kaya, to get the title? Probably. I mean, I feel like if we have built this up. You should have built it up months and months ago. I mean, I will admit, yes, Tessa is a dirty champion. Yes, I will. We all have dirty champions who doesn't want to give their titles. But if you ask me, Tessa had what was coming to him. She was always a cheater. She thinks he's royalty, and she can't win without cheating. But, I can see what they're going with this. You find someone that thinks they're royalty and they think they're good, and you beat them. I mean, I mean it was supposed to set up a Gail Cameron and Tessa Blanchard match, but I didn't know if it was supposed to be for the title or not. Now, if Gail Kim came back for one more match, to face Tessa, I'd say my prediction would be Gail Kim because you don't see too many Hall of Famers in wrestling and losing. I don't see it happening. I mean, guys, you're talking about Gail Kim, who was who was in TNA, who was in WWE, and vowed 
the first ever knockout champion. And vowed never to work with WWE again. Huh. Yes, he was the first. He had some great matches. He had great matches with Awesome Kong and all. But that's besides the point. You're talking about a Hall of Famer who is like the female version of Kenny Omega, like one of the best women wrestlers. Now, if Gail Kim did come back to wrestle, I would love to see her try and take on Asuka because Asuka is like one of the best wrestlers too until they messed her up. Well, that's mine for those dream match. David, Gail Kim came back. Who do you want her to face? There's one match that, there's one opponent I feel like she hasn't faced before. Asuka's one. The other one would be Ronda Rousey. Oh! Oh! oh. Why do you think Ronda Rousey? Let's say Ronda. Let's just say I feel like that would be a main event more than Magic Mania. I mean, Ronda Rousey, with her MMA background, taking on a Hall of Famer, that would kind of be interesting. I mean, hmm. And I'm wondering if they're gonna if tonight on Raw they're gonna make the revival jump through hoops to get a, a third match for the tag titles against Rude and Gable. I mean, look how they did Roman Reigns. Well, Roman Reigns did win the title on an episode of TV though against Sheamus. I mean, for for decades of wrestling, you got the authority figures, you got everything, you got everything when it comes to wrestling. But now we, the people, are the authority. And Bron so is this, a, is this a tease that they're going to bring back Cyber Sunday if we're the authority? Maybe, but the thing about this is, I don't think I don't think they bring back Cyber Sunday. I do know that Braun's not winning at the Rumble because if they're saying that Rollins and Lesnar, I guarantee you they're saying that up for the title at Mania. But Rollins win the Rumble. Now, if Braun does win. There's a possible chance that Seth might win, and it'll be a first time ever. No, already, they've already said. The news is already said. Lesnar retains at the Rumble. Lesnar faces Rollins, and that's probably why he loses the title to Rollins. Now, is that rumor true or not true? We're going to watch Sunday to find out. Now, next on the topic is MLW. There's been a lot of stuff going on at MLW. Yeah, uh, Santa Callahan failed to take out. That is not true. It's not true. Take out what? Santa Callahan failed to take out Tom Waller. On the episode of MLW started. Santa Callahan wanted to get paid for taking somebody out, and then Selena Del Rey, and then Selena said. He didn't take out Waller. So at the end of the show, he tried to take out Waller, and he failed. Oh, I got to watch that episode. That's probably another 10 for me. That's the last Saturday. Yeah, about a 10. So we have a new person coming to MLW. He's from Lucha Underground. Aerostar is going to be in, in, in MLW. Aerostar from Lucha Underground. Now, my wonder is, are the Lucha Underground wrestlers going to join different brands until the show comes back? Who knows? Because I think it's going to happen. I see it happening. You have St. Strickland, who's formerly from... Lucha on the ground. I don't even know where Strickland's been. He quit back in November and he hasn't returned yet. And we got Aerostar coming to MLW. You got the Lucha Bros. For now, as the tag team champions. They could lose their tag titles eventually. I don't want them to lose it, but I need the points. They could lose the Hart Foundation. Teddy Hart better not be in it because he already has a belt. How do you know? 
Well, he's a middleweight champion. So, here's what I see. And somehow, Loki's been unstoppable since becoming MLW world champion. The last draft, I had him, and I got 40 because of him. But he's been unstoppable since then. I don't know if anyone can beat Loki. Now, Lawler proven time in and time out that he has what it takes. Now, this could be a. Now, I'm just saying this off the record. I think he's being a backstab. And Fred Yehi turn, turns on Lawler to set up a, a Yehi Lawler match in the future. Guys, I don't see that happen. As much as I love wrestling, as much as I love. I love way, but no. If that rumor is not true, then we have ourselves a new champion. We've got a new champion, like like Mr. Hart. Hart won his title fair. Brian Pillman Jr. somehow won. His match last week. So, guys, I feel like I think a poor Kane match though set up a return to wrestling for the Sandman. Is it a sign? We already got Raven back, and my God, he looks rough. No long hair. He's like short haired now. That's. Like, wow. So now, everything we've discussed here, we're now going to Ring of Honor. Now, and the one guy, is, there's only one guy, I think, that can beat Lethal for the Ring of Honor World Championship. And this is the guy that I think Lethal is ducking, and that's Matt Taven. He already beat the contender for his title. So that's 20 for me. But why do you think he's dodging Matt Taven? Because he knows he can't beat Taven. So, everything's in place. The Briscoes are still champs. I have one of them. The Young Bucks are gone, and we don't know if they're really gone. They could sign a new contract. Christopher Daniels has a new contract, but someone just messed it up for him and just ripped it. Let me see. I know I saw the highlights. Who did that? Who did that? I forgot his name, but... But, guys, what do you think? Out of all the wrestling we've talked about today, what do you think is going to happen at the Royal Rumble... Uh, what's next? Uh, any other? After the Rumble, I think. I'm trying to think. Is there a February pay per view? They skip until May. Oh. They usually do Elimination Chamber. Might not be the Chamber this year. They got rid of the Chamber a few years ago. Because they're doing dual branded pay per views now. It could be the Chamber now, or it could be Fastlane. Now, with Royal Rumble coming, what other. Shows are coming from New Japan and all that. Uh, this week's the final week of Wrestle Kingdom. Next week is New Year's Day. And we don't have the full match card of that yet. But we will. We will predict it. We will predict it all. We don't know what the we don't know what the card for New Beginning of Osaka or Sapporo will be. Now what about Ring of Honor? The next show Ring of Honor we have, I I think it's not like a month or two from now. Oh wait, no, there's actually a show coming up, I think, soon. Supercon. War of the Worlds. New Japan versus Ring of Honor. That is going to be interesting. Because you never know what two brands can do. So here's what I'm predicting. I'm predicting WWE and AEW face off. Say they bring Brian Bragging White's back. And... You have the roster of AEW facing the roster of WWE. 
I thought it was the first time ever matches. And if it comes to that, I would say it would be a tie. And then there'd be a tiebreaker between, let me see. Well, the thing about this is, they said Raw swept Survivor Series. We watched it. SmackDown won one match. They didn't count the pre-show. I give them a sim for that. Ding! Well, guys, we about covered everything about wrestling in our vlog today. Even though there was no people in here coming in and ask us questions about anything. Leave them in the comments. And in two weeks... Hopefully we'll be at a friend's house, watch the Royal Rumble, and hopefully do his predictions. So, if you like this stream, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon if you haven't already. And we will see you guys soon for the next stream. Or else, I might see y'all tonight, because I might stream a game today. I don't know. I have to wait and see. Boom. What? Boom. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. <laughs> See you later, guys. We are out of here.